This is how to run a successful business advertisement on Facebook with your phone by yourself. Like I said, if you are on Facebook and you sell product or you sell services, it is very, very important for you to know how to run these ads by yourself. The reasons are running it by yourself will make you to look at the waking point at the interval of time and this will allow you to go and target the right customer at the right time not wasting so much money on the advertisement that you are giving to people to run for you because they are not or probably they have much in their hand they probably would not have enough time to monitor and to scrutinize the advert that they are running. Now let's go straight. I told you earlier that you need three apps to run a successful Facebook advertisement by yourself with your phone. Now I mentioned the Facebook ad apps, the Meta apps, and the Business WhatsApp app. Now, let me quickly show you something on this page. This is a private page. That means a business page that allows you to run advertisements. This is not a profile page. I will tell you the meaning of a profile page and a page. Now, look at this page. The name of this page is Chess Academy, but we teach kids and teenagers the basic of chess. Now, look at it. This is where they run the advertisement. And I want to show you something. I want you to notice something. Look at this blue create ads. This blue dialog box on your right hand side. Now go for that. You see another one. They say boost post. Can you see? Now you see another one. Boost post. Every post on this page you will see that there is an attachment of a blue dialog box behind or at the, at the end. It keeps telling you, you can boost the post. Now let's go back to the main page, the profile page. Now let's go back to the profile page. Now it's changing. Now this is my profile page. Now, I want you to tell me, do you see any blue post that is telling you to boost any post? No. What simply means is that when you open a Facebook page with your name, that is your personal page. Now, you cannot run advertisement on your profile page. Do you get what I'm saying? You can't run advertisement on your profile page. You need to create a page. Now look at it. I will come here. Then I will click. These are the pages I have created. Chess Academy, Football Catalog, all of that. No, I will not go here. You see here, you will click Get Started. This is where you will put the name of your page. Where you want to be selling your product or your services. You will give it a name that is attracted or that links to what you do. Well, it depends on you. If you have a page before that runs, if you have a business, business name, all you need is just like bring your business name under your profile and create a page where you can run ads to the public. Now let's go back. Because I have opened so many. Here, all you need is just type your name. Type the name of the business you want to be bearing. That's it. So let's go back. Now let's go back. Now let's go back to this page. Now this is the page where I run my adverts. Now, like I said, you need Facebook. We have already created the scene here where you needed to create a page 
under your page. This page was created under a profile. And this is the page you will use in running your ads. Now, let's go for that. Now, after you have done this, the first thing you will do is, okay, let me go back. You see, you need a very good graphic to be placed at this background where you are seeing these young children holding a chess mat. You have two options. You put a picture here, then you also put a picture in the circle. Now, the rectangular page, you need to design a very good graphic that will attract people about your business or your services. Then at the circle, you can put one product that probably that is the target, that is the most efficient or the most sellable of your product. That once people see that product, it has a meaning and it sends a signal or interpretation to them. Now, you describe your business. That is why you could see Chess Academy Ibadan. We teach kids and teenagers the basic of chess. You see, you put a very good description about your business. Just put it there. The moment people see your page, the first thing is the graphic. You see, I allow people to understand that graphic is very, very important in selling products and services on the social media. It's not difficult to get a graphic designer to design something for you. The designer might design three types of designs for you with different color, but the same content. Then you can decide which one you want to use. Now let's go for that. Now, this page has been created, and that is the reason why you see over 395 followers. Now good. Now, let me go for that and show you. When you want to create a post, get a good graphic to design for you. In your post, in your graphic, the graphic must contain every necessary details, particularly your contact. Do you hear what I say? Your contact is the most efficient after the description and the images you use. I also like to warn you, don't use your personal picture. Don't use your personal picture on your advertisement page. There are reasons why you don't do that, I understand. Now let's go further. Now, you have to write details. Look at this, look at this page. Look at what is written. It was an advert and it said, private and holiday chairs classes for all sector. You give a space because a lot of people don't read clearly when it comes to social media. You will put the description there. They will say call you and be asking you, where are you? What's the contact? Where are they? You understand? You, good, you give a good description. Then be very much careful about words that automated Facebook will reject, like gender or racism. Like I tell people, if you run an ad, and after two hours, the ad is not running, you need to know that something was wrong with ad ad. You need to pull it down and start afresh. Now, let's go. Now, this is a graphic. You can do something better than this. But what matters most is the important things. Location contact and the products or the services very simple if you can put the price let it be learning not too much of things but just put a learning information on your page now look at your right side you will see the 
WhatsApp contact is putting the, is, is there. That means if anybody needs to contact me, they should use WhatsApp number. One of the reasons why I'm teaching this also tells you that, look, the best button you can use is the WhatsApp button. Don't use the call button. Don't also use the message button. These are all factors that are related to Facebook. And do you know that so many people are on Facebook without installing the message app? The message itself at an extraordinary app when you are using the main Facebook app, not the light apps. You understand? Now, the reason why you are using the WhatsApp button is very, very important. In one of my teachings, you see why using the WhatsApp button. You can go to and read. Now, after you have done all this, you click boost. This is where things needed to be run very well. And this is why it is very important that you are the one that will run the advert by yourself. Now look at it. When you start, it has automated, automatic, get message, get more engagement, all this, all this, and all this. If you are, if you are on Instagram, it can also connect with your Instagram. Now, let's go here. Go to edit. When you get to edit, you look at first location. Where is, your, where is the location of your business? Is it a service or a product that people need to come to your location?